Hi, uh, I'm going to show you how can we test the hydraulic rack on our test benches. I'm, I'll show you how to do it on <coughs> this test bench. Uh, it's a bigger version, but uh, the procedure is same. I already connected everything, uh, the hoses, high pressure, low pressure, and uh, we also have here a flow meter and the gauge which show the pressure uh, condition. What we need to do to check this rack? Uh, we need to turn on the bench, turn on the pump inside the bench. Uh, you can see now that the pressure a little increased and the flow meter uh, on, on the upper position. If I will turn off, you can see the flow is about zero, but when I turn it on, it goes up. And uh, what I need to do, first of all, I need to try to rotate the rack. For now, it's rotating really soft, as you can see. And firstly, I need to check the pressure in extremity position, so I I push it to extremity position, as you can see, and I need to check the pressure. Yeah, so I don't have a leakage here. The rack is is good, and also in the same way I need to close the distributor. So I'm trying to close it, and the flow meter must show me zero and the pressure will go up. The same I need to do in other side. You can see that flow meter shows me about zero and the pressure going up. Uh, about uh, the flow meter when it uh, goes to zero it says me that the distributor valve here is in good condition because if, for example, I'll close the rack like this and uh, the flow meter will show me, for example, middle position, it means that uh, I have a leakage somewhere in this place. And also about this part, how can we check it? Uh, it's actually checking by uh, rotation and if we don't have any knocking or like it's not doing like this it means that uh, this part is okay so this rack i think is in a good condition now